just took a lot of trouble to create a style sheet that looks attractive and well laid out, sort of, for the web. But often, what looks good on the web doesn't look exactly the way you'd want it to print. Frequently, you would want something that has a serif font that's mostly black and white if you're working on printing something for on paper using the print settings. So I've created two different style sheets for the same content, one for print and one for the web. To make them apply, you need to change your settings in the head section of your HTML. You want to have two different links to different style sheets, one for your web settings and one for your print settings. When you're in Firefox, if you click on a link to a CSS page, it will open it. And you'll see that the changes I've made in here predominantly are removing color references and changing things to a Times New Roman or a serif font. You need a serif font Typically, if you're going to print something on paper, it's easier to read. On the web, it's easier to read a sans serif font. So this shows you the differences in the way the pages would look, printed versus not, and to test it, in Firefox, when you have them both linked and you've uploaded them, you can go into File, Print, and just choose to print as a PDF or open in a PDF preview, depending on your, if you're on Mac or PC. But if you look at the PDF viewing, you will see exactly how it will show up with the alternate style sheets. So please make sure to hand in, and I do want you to test it, save it as a PDF, and so please hand in your PDF as well as the link to your page when you do this. And please go ahead and just use the work from the last exercise. The best way to do this is to take your existing style sheet, sheet, copy it, paste it, and modify it, largely removing the color references. It makes it a, little, a lot more printable. You may want to remove images and some other things or the sizing of them. You can change some of that too. So that's how you add multiple style sheets for more complex style sheets like responding to a cell phone size or a tablet, you're going to want to take a different approach that we'll cover later in the course.